instructional video on how to play the banjo for Paranoia in B-flat major by the Avid Brothers. It starts out, uh, capos on the third fret. It's important for me to point out that this is my own interpretation of the song. There are no chords or tabs or anything like that that I found online, so I wrote up my own there at Ultimate Guitar. There's a um, link to it over to the left or the right, I'm not too sure. Um, I guess to the right, yeah. There's a link to the Ultimate Guitar tabs, which I'm going to be basing most of this off of. Uh, so if you want to look at those while I'm teaching you, works out really well. Um, Alright, I guess we should begin. The first chord, um, again, with the capo at the third fret, is going to be um, 5005, which is an open, uh, which is a, a G minus 5, which means that it's a G without um, the fifth. It only consists of the major third within the chord. Um, and it sounds like this. And that's how the song begins. Uh, and if you look at the tabs, then it goes down to four in the same pattern, and then to two, and then just an open G. So the opening sounds like this. Right? And then there's a little riff, uh, and, and the tabs. Um, not super difficult. Uh, you can replace the uh, third on the B string with just an open D string, because it's the same. Uh, so that way you can transition into an A minor shape, uh, which is really a C minor uh, with the capo at three. Uh, an A minor shape, because you're picking that, so it's going to sound like this. I was switching to a D7, so you're going to play A minor, D7. So altogether, the intro sounds kind of like this. And that little riff is something else that um, I think... I don't know whether it's on the CD or not, I've heard a whole bunch of different recordings to base this off of, um, but it's just an easy transition from the D7 back to the G without the fifth. Uh, Alright, and then you get into the actual song, and it's basically the same thing. Uh, I've pointed out there are a few minor differences, which are all in the tabulature, uh, and it sounds like this. I keep telling myself that it'll be fine. You can't make everybody happy all of the time. Well, I find myself in and does the same thing. Uh, eventually picking up with actually strumming the chords. Um, yeah. Um, all right. I guess the next thing that I should point out would be the. The, the first bridge in the song, uh, which is after, um, and I'm so tired of being wrong, and the bridge in there, uh, that they're, I think they're using bells on the CD, plus a banjo, plus the guitar, so to be able to emulate that just on banjo, uh, you'd be, be playing the same chords, but you'd be picking them. Uh, starting off with the bottom and working your way up to the top like this. Alright, my band is a little out of tune, that's why it sounded bad. But when it's in tune, it should sound pretty good. Um, and then you do the same thing with uh, the, the A minor. And then you just play a D7, do the same roll that you did before. And then you go back up to the top. Um, and you do the the verse, and then the the bridge, uh, the second bridge after um, uh, when we awaken, you find that the sanity is gone from my eyes. playing is that G without the fifth, uh, and then the A minor shape again, 
back up to the G with the fifth, and then the C shape, uh, which I haven't put in on the tablature, but if you're playing banjo and you can play the song, you probably know what a C is. Uh, real quick, a C is two zero one two, um, working from the fourth string down to the first. Um, and then that's the bridge, you play that twice. Um, and then you do the, the sloppy thing. I, I just made up because they're using kick drums and hi-hats and different instruments to be able to do that on the CD and in different recordings. That's what I always do. Um, I think that that's basically it. Uh, then the la-las come, which are the craziest and my favorite part of the song. Uh, they sound something like this. La, 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 la. playing the same uh, chord progression as you do throughout the entire song for all the verses, the only difference being uh, that you rotate between the, the A minor shape and the D7 shape. You play that twice instead of only once. Pretty easy. And then uh, for the very last one, you start strumming it again. <laughs> because there's also the, the capo there. Um, I think that that's, I think that's it. I think that I covered everything. Um, you should be good. Just uh, work on those rolls and make up stuff, whatever you want to throw in there. This is not what they play on the CD or in any recording. This is a weird compilation of what it sounded like to me. Since I couldn't find any music anywhere else, I felt that I put it up for you guys. Awesome. Great. Good luck.